Hi guys, it's Katie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your brushes with the brush cleaning set by Speedball. Each brush cleaning kit comes with three bottles. They come with power wash, pink soap, and the brush shaper. So I'll get into more in depth later on. But I just want to say that I reached out to Speedball and they generously decided to send us some goodies to test out. And this is one of them. Now, as you can see right here, it has a water spot on it and um, the original packing will not have that. Uh, this, I accidentally just dropped some water on it. I mean, no big deal. So. According to the back of this, Pink Soap is just a regular brush cleaner. It says that it cleans oils, acrylics, and watercolor paints, contains a conditioner, leaves no greasy afterfeel, contains no chlorides, alkalis, phosphates, solvents, or alcohol. Then the Power Wash removes dried paint and varnish from synthetic artist brushes. Power Wash is the most powerful, non-toxic, water-based synthetic brush cleaner on the market with no harmful chemicals or odors. And lastly, the brush shaper, um, it returns the brush bristles to their original shape and quality. To use, clean brush, dip brushes into brush shaper, shape brush, let dry and store. When ready to use again, rinse the brush bristles with water or brush the bristles free of the brush shaper. So, it's very cool. Alright, so let's open it up. So first up here is the brush shaper and it is kind of a milky color. Next we have the power wash. And it's clear. It's actually very um, liquidous. And it has a very nice smell to it. And lastly is the pink soap, which is very pink, as you can see. And I don't know if any of you maybe remember from uh, maybe art school or in like high school or something. But like the soap that they use, it's always pink and it has like the distinct smell. That's exactly what this smells like. So it's really good. I have this brush that is very, very crispy. I have some acrylic paint on it and I left it on there for a few months. It's been on here for a while. So let's try to get this brush clean and nicely shaped with all of these. First off, I'm going to take this power wash and I'm going to pour some of it into this little cup. I'm going to take the brush and dip it in and swirl it around. Let's see if I can get any of that paint off. Oh, it seems to be coming off. As you can see, that power wash is turning black because I had black paint on this, or it's turning gray. And, and it's already almost completely off. You just gotta work at it, you gotta be patient. Just kinda scrub back, don't scrub too hard though, but you kinda just wanna go back and forth. And there we have it. Almost as good as new. Alrighty, so the next step is to wash it in some pink soap. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit out and kind of work it in the bristles with my finger. And this brush feels so soft. Definitely different than what it felt like a few minutes ago. And last for the brush shaper. I don't feel like this needs it, but I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway. It says to dip it in, so I'm going to unscrew this cap. And just dip my bristles in, and then you can shape it however you want. Now this is going to dry kind of like whenever you get new brushes and they're stiff. That's how this is going to dry. So whenever you want to use it again, you're going to either rinse it off with some water, which I highly recommend, or you can just kind of brush it off, but like I said, I recommend that you go ahead and rinse it off in some water. Alright, so while we let that dry, I'm just going to talk to you guys. So all in all, this is amazing. Um, I had paint stuck on that brush for a very long time, a few months actually, and this power wash, it did take a little bit of working it in but it dissolved it and as you can see this is completely like this is the paint right here I mean 
So this stuff is amazing. Now, it is only for synthetic brushes, so I wouldn't go putting your hog hair, your squirrel hair in here. Um, but since this is a golden tacklon brush, uh, and a cheap one at that, um, it worked like a charm, actually. Next, the pink soap. It smells amazing. It cleans the brushes. It actually cleaned most of the residue that was left on from this. Um, and it left it feeling conditioned, and it had just been on for a little bit. Next up, the brush shaper. Um, the brush shaper, really all it is, is just to shape your brushes. Um, but I have used it a couple times, and I have to say that I really do like it, because after you use the brush shaper, it actually goes back into its original form, so you don't have to worry. Like, you can just use it again like it was brand new. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what review you would like to see next. You can follow me on DeviantArt, Page World, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our cute little artist family if you haven't already. I put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and two new videos each on Tuesday and Friday. And until next time, bye!